Hey everybody, it's Shauna and Pete with Scholarly Family Discipleship, and here we are again with another video devotion. Uh, we are on 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Tonight we're going to discuss verses 6 through 14, and that's kind of lengthy to read, so we're just going to go ahead and get on into the discussion. Uh, in these six or these few verses here, Paul, Paul talks about the right of a minister to be compensated for the work that they do. Uh, he wants everyone to know that even though him and the others that were with him while they were with the peaceful Corinth, they didn't accept money for what they did. They paid for their uh, their way if they got food from someone or whatever. But he wants everyone to know, hey, look, it's okay that a minister gets paid or compensated from his congregation. Right. Um, today we have uh, still this as a discussion. Eating his nice troll cup. Uh, we still have this as a discussion, but we, <laughs> but we um, should understand from the scripture that it is right, and it's actually it should be expected that we compensate a minister, someone who is uh, preaching the gospel, working for the gospel. Um, I think that sometimes the uh, the society that we live in has produced people like televangelists and things like that that. Um, wear fancy clothes and drive fancy cars and live in fancy houses and some people don't think that that can necessarily be explained but I do believe that in some cases it can't be explained it's true, it's they, true. they go overboard and they're, they're peddlers of the gospel instead of actually uh, ministers of the gospel absolutely uh, but, but we also the, know yeah. too that God's going to judge you on your intentions and God will judge others on their intentions Right, but the, he gives several analogies in this uh, chapter about why it's okay for that to happen. One of the first ones is he says that no one goes to warfare on their own charge. He's saying, hey, look, uh, a minister is like a soldier. He's commissioned uh, them. Right, they're just, being t they're just doing what they're being told to do. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not out there just uh, doing it on their own. They're commissioned of God to do that. So uh, they're like a soldier. Uh, the next analogy he gives is a farmer. He said, hey, look, if you plant something in a vineyard or in your garden, you're going to eat of it. And you know, we know from Scripture that a, a minister is someone who sows the Word of God. Right. And uh, they should be uh, expected to be fed from what they sow. Right. Uh, the, another analogy is a, a shepherd who keeps a flock. He says, doesn't the person who keeps the flock uh, drink of the milk? Right. So you should expect that what? A shepherd is the, what we call a pastor. A flock is the congregation. Shouldn't the, the congregation be feeding the, 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 the shepherd? And the final analogy he gives is a uh, ox that is plowing the field, and he says, "You don't muzzle an ox; you let it eat the corn that falls to the ground." And uh, as a minister plows, we know that that, that they, they should they plow the word of God on, on fertile soil; that they should be allowed to be uh, to to eat and to be fed. The boys kind of come in and distract us there a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. But what, what sticks out to me here is that the Apostle Paul is like, look, even an ox, even an animal is able to, to partake of the fruits uh, that they've worked for. You know, why would you not allow a minister who devotes their, their life and their time to studying and, and praying and uh, seeking God to deliver the message and who have accepted the call? Why would you? Why would you um, make them go without one? You won't even make an ox go without. Right. Uh, and, and the thing about it is, is us as Christians and as members of a flock, uh, we ought to be faithful in paying our tithe and offering, mm -hmm. because that you bring that they say bring that into the storehouse that there might be food for the for those who serve. So we look at that, and and as Christians, we ought to be faithful in doing that. We ought to be faithful in paying a tenth of our are increased and also in putting offering in that offering plate because we want to support those who take care of us and who minister to us. Absolutely. And and we should, um, just a side note, always make sure that you're conscious of praying for your pastor and mm -hmm. for the leaders of the church because they go through a lot of opposition, a lot of attack of the enemy, and they need that support also. So um, we'll continue tomorrow, but as of today, that is... It and uh, we just want to encourage you to live every day intentionally. Make sure that you get up every day, you exalt God, that you encounter God, that you're edifying yourself and you're engaging the world uh, with the good news of the gospel. That's so, right. um, uh, until next time, God bless you. God bless.